Oh, hey everyone. For all of, okay, do we? Hey, Wendy, Simone, Chris. Oh, it's so nice to see all of you here, Marty. All right, so nice to see you all here. Wow. Well, all right, there's tons of people joining in. This is great. So many people. Hey, hey Sherman. Hey, hey. <laughs> now I see everyone. All right, I think we are ready to go and we are right on time. Hey, everyone, and welcome to this event. The first event that we're doing on AirMeet, which is an event platform, we're usually doing a little bit more casual on Zoom. But right now, since this is a big event, we decided to go full-blown event type of thing. And we are excited to see all of you here. I am giving the floor to Pankil to say hi to everyone and just share what it is for everyone to expect. All right. Sounds good. So super excited, guys. We did a quick uh, walkthrough earlier, but in this video, I'll go more in deep and get you guys on speed with this new features that are coming up. To give you guys a gist is that we ran a small poll and every one of you saw that AI knows up till 2019, it cannot understand your thoughts and you have to constantly guide it to write what you want to do. And it's just more and more work involved in uh, fixing it. Uh, making it work for you than just writing it yourself. So what's the point, right? Like you still have to do the research. You still have to go through everything that, you know, you would go through manually uh, and come up with the plan for it. So we said, all right, let's focus on execution. What we did was we speed up this process from finding the relevant content and getting you to a point where you can then automatically guide GPT-3 to write exactly on context. So what we build for this particular release and the highlight is concepts. And uh, I will uh, start sharing my screen and uh, we can go through concepts. So to start with, we added a keyword research tool right here. So you can do your keyword research right here before we were only showing ideas. And uh, what we found was like users had complained that this is not useful and we agreed. We said, All right, let's go with keyword research so people don't have to find uh, keywords with any other tools and they can just go through this and we'll en keep enhancing it and give you guys a planner where you can add these keywords as well later on. So now let's get into uh, concepts. But before that, I wanted to show you this three use cases of what I want to rank for in Google. So the first one is hip uh, joint replacement. And this is a uh, sort of uh, something that let's say I'm a writer. I, I don't know what a hip joint replacement is. I have no clue. I don't know what to write about it. How do I go about crafting that content? And I'll show you how concepts can gather all of this information, guide you from starting to the title to the content itself and write almost everything for you. Similarly, we will also look at an example where we'll give it specific clinic that we uh, are trying to suggest that they should go and see if for hip joint replacement in this vlog as well. So let's say you're writing something for your customer and uh, the customer has a clinic uh, or a doctor or a lawyer, and you need to put their information in hip joint replacement blog post, and then you will be able to see some of these things. So, okay. So uh, action clinic blog, right? So you should be able to put in that information in and extract most important uh, concepts out of it to guide GPT-3 to write about nuanced topic that only you uh, or your customer knows. Second, we'll look at uh, Mocha Coffee Maker, an e-commerce product. Um, it's a, so it's, it can be two things, right? So you could be an affiliate, you could be writing about an affiliate blog, which is Mocha Coffee Maker, and you are giving it quite a few coffee, or it could be your e-commerce product blog where you are advocating for your product and you know making the user go through the journey uh, of finding relevant information around this product and buying your product. The third one is text summarization. This is highly complicated uh, topic and it consists of NLP information and technical information that might or might not be correct with GPT-3. And if it is, it's just too uh, broad and not narrow and specific to what you might wanna write about or what the SERP might have in store for you. So uh, these are the three use cases that we'll look at. Let's go ahead and look at hip joint replacement. Okay, so what we did for this release is we built out our AI wizard around this concept. And everything that the AI wizard is doing it's infusing SERP data into GPT-3 with our insane logics and coming up with ideas for you guys in a step-by-step -step manner. So let's get started here. Let's generate some ideas. You can select the one that you think is the best suited for your uh, particular use case. You can double click it and you can make some minor adjustments to it as well. And then once you have what you need, just click next. Let's go ahead and select meta description. 
Okay, all right, just a bunch of meta descriptions. This could probably be it. So you can see the quality of data is phenomenal because we are infusing it with not only just keywords, and hip, what people have written about, what concepts people have covered in their content, combining them to create this meta description. So, so now we get to an outline. So now we come to sections and we see that we're targeting 14 to 44. Our current is zero. So now uh, before I start generating this outline idea, let me tell you how we come up with this outline, okay? And the way we come up with this outline is finding the subject that we need to go after and the clusters that we need to go after from your focus keyword. And based on that, we collect all the SERP data, all the SERP clusters around those focus keyword infuse and find the ones that are also matching with your validated keyword data convert them into concepts pass it to gpt3 and ask it to come up with outlines for us so they are unstructured but they are really good data that covers related keywords and some of the most important topics that you need to cover for any particular topic so let's uh, go ahead and start generating outline idea so the target is how many sections do you need in order to uh proceed like in order to have a fighting chance for ranking for this particular keyword so this is an average count and this is a 44 is a maximum count that you find in serve data and if you go into instructions you can always go to instructions and optimize uh, your content that meets this needs as well so it's not required for you to select this many you can select as many as uh uh, possible and the ones that are not possible you can uh, absolutely delete it so let's say this one is not important 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 so now we see all right so it started getting into some that are more relevant okay what is hip joint replacement what are the dangers of it can hip joint uh, okay so you see that it has some really good outlines that you can then arrange and uh, create your content around okay Okay, okay. And there are just many out there. So the cost of metal hip implants, right? So let's say you are creating a, a clinic and these are unique outlines, okay? These are not just grabbed and pulled from serve data and telling you that, hey, go right around this and it's plagiarized content. No, these are creatively rewritten uh, to be a question. So every outline that you see over here is a question that is written by our logic uh, and our infusion of uh, serve data. So, uh, and this can any nuanced topics at all the reason it works in any nuanced topic is because we are not passing it keywords if i was to pass it hip, you can say i slipped uh, and i fell on my knees and i hurt my hip right like that is not relevant to hip replacement and that's that's what can happen when you infuse it just with keywords so we build out con uh, concepts and this is why this is so powerful uh that can guide you in creating your outline and now let's see what happens all right, so this is your outline. This is your new refreshed outline. You can move it around and you can add H2s and H3s right within them. So uh, you can say, what is the cost of replacement? This is my inside. You can see your H3 started building out as well. And why this structure is important, I will cover that when we start writing content for this concepts. So you understand like, okay, how this really works. So let's say, what is it? hip joint replacement and you have no idea about what to write when it comes to hip joint okay yeah sure you can click on, on an answer infuse it with some keywords and write the answer for it but let's say you wanted to be more specific you wanted to dive into what topics you needed to cover in hip joint replacement what happens is that gpt3 is going to give you all sorts of nonsenses around hip joint replacement and not guide you into properly constructing your content which is the problem because you constantly have to go edited find information that is crap deleted you know rewrite it and stuff like that but what we did is now we go and fetch concepts or content for this hip joint replacement from your serp data and build concepts around it let's generate content okay it performed uh, to relieve pain from arthritis it also used as a replacement for broken or improperly grown hip this procedure is also used in other conditions where did i get this content from GPT-3 did not give it to me. GPT-3, the reason why this is so accurate and right on is because GPT-3 did not give it to me. We collected it from one of the SERP results, found information related to this, and suggested the steps that you need to take in order to create this content. Now, why is this so powerful? Because this elevates the pain of you understanding the context of any topic anywhere 
doesn't matter. It's at your fingertips. Let's see how we can start writing about this. So what is hip joint replacement? I want to build on this concept. All right. So it is talking about that concept at the core of it and guiding the GPT-3 into constructing your paragraph. You can see that this is covered right here. Okay. This is why it is so powerful because it consists of concepts from SERP. So let's get going and, and say, all right, so this are, these are the steps. Like, I don't want to get into the steps. You can also uh, do other things. So all right, let me delete this. Let's say you want to cover all of these three concepts in together and create one paragraph uh, that can write for you. Control A, Control X, and there you go. You have a uh, one concept that can be written around this particular topic and be constructed using the serp. There you go. And this is why you have grow, uh, grow, improperly growing hips. So it starts talking about the context without you actually guiding it in order uh, to do anything. So the, the purpose of the umbrella is to develop concepts. So this is a particular concept or concepts that you put together and you are asking it to write content based on this particular concept so it can construct your paragraph according to that and help you write stuff that is right on uh, the topic and covers majority of the SERP clusters that you need to target. So you guys saw that uh, I pulled out content for hip replacement. Now, what I want to show you guys is something like uh, hip uh, surgery work, right? Like what is the cost of metal hip implants? Like why, how do I find out information around this? So it's possible that your customer has uh, some sort of brief given to you that you want to include in your content. What you can do is that let's say you don't want SERP to come up with concepts for you. You have your own concepts. You have your own text that someone gave it to you about a product or from wherever you found it, uh, and you want to build concepts around it. You can come here. You can add your custom description. Click OK and generate concepts. It will get concepts from it as well, and I will go through that in the next example that we'll, go, we'll uh, look at. But let's say I want to come up with costs. So let's see if it is able to find concepts from SERP. If it is not able to find concepts from SERP, it will alert you and tell you there is nothing around this in SERP, which most likely will not be the case. There's always something found in uh, SERP. Okay, so maybe this is not relevant. What you can do now is let's go. Okay, all right. Maybe this is the this is the paragraph. I'm just taking an example, but you can go here and you can copy almost all content that you want uh, out of this particular page. So uh, I could just say, let's say I want to take this. I'm here, delete this. There we go. So it started collecting all the concepts about cost from this particular paragraph. And now you can start creating content around that. So let's say cost of implants, right? I am going to copy this in here and start writing text. Like, all right, can it get any better? You just constructed a paragraph out of raw text that you had no idea. What is it about? I did not even read it, but now I can guide AI in writing everything according to what I want. This is the most powerful stuff when it comes to GPT-3 is not asking GPT-3 to write for you, but to analyze, to use GPT-3 uh, to analyze content that can actually be guided in further writing with other technologies. So this is a state of art search engine, which goes and pulls out SERP data. And 95% um, of the time, you're gonna find relevant content. If you don't, you can find relevant content from the web, insert it in here and guide the AI to write for you. This is like, a, this is why we suggest that this is a game changer. Uh, okay. Really quick, there's a question from Jeremy, and I think a few more people may not be able to understand, but the, what is the purpose you get data from Google and paste it there? Can you say it one more time? So what we did was, let's say when you are constructing a paragraph about any particular topic, what the thought process goes behind around constructing that paragraph is where most writers spend time, right? Like you write a few words and then you think about what second part of the context you want to cover in that particular paragraph. So what GPT cannot do is understand that thought process and guide it to create content, which is very specifically uh, built for a class, right? So every, like you can ask GPT-3, what is the cost of implant, right? Like, uh, let me select this and let me construct this with AI command. You will understand the difference in data that you get, right? Okay, so this is GPT-3 giving me while this is concepts giving me. You understand the amount of information that GPT-3 has 
is so much, so much that it cannot uh, understand what is right, what is wrong, and what is more relevant, what is less relevant, and how it can guide in constructing those sentences so that a user will find this information useful. Let's let's do something else as well. Let me go ahead and show you guys how the answer functionality works, right? So this is a regular answer functionality that GPT-3 that we are using GPT-3 to mine the data and give you and write for you, right? So let's see, oh, sorry. Okay, it like it constructed this paragraph here for using GPT-3. You can see the difference. Here there is a thousand times more editing required because it's not covering the cost because it does not know the cost. But here, well, it's a different story. This makes it super easy, right? Like you don't need to understand any nuanced topic. Uh, you understand the difference in quality. This is from GPT-3. And this is using concepts uh, also using GPT-3. This is not giving you fluff. This is giving you all fluff. So test it out. It's my guarantee. And, and I say, this is my guarantee. Test out the data that you create with Jeep with using concepts with any tool out there. I guarantee you, if your data is better, we'll see what we can do after that. But there's 99.9999% chance that their data will have tons and tons of fluff while this will not because it's created with a purpose, uh, con uh, creating impactful content around concepts and h2 h3 tags and titles so it is very relevant to what it writes thank you dave is asking do you use google nlp api or are you using the watson uh so our primary technology we use is gpt3 but we use google nlp apis as well uh as a few bird libraries there's a specific task that other libraries are good at when compared to some other technologies so we have to combine a, a few in order to get to where we want okay all right and and so understand guys like we're processing so much data and we're processing so much text to give you guys exactly what you can write and come up with that it's making your life so much easier. So yeah, sure, there's so many tools out there that can just write out of the hat, you know, thin air. And we tried doing that as well. And I feel bad for myself because, you know, I didn't think it through that you guys would find it difficult uh, to comprehend how the AI works. And this is why it's so difficult to create content with AI is because you have to train it. You need to understand how it understands the language and everything around it. So that's why it makes it super difficult to guide uh, you and the, the writer in terms of uh, proceeding with the content. But this gives you laid out steps and uh, everything at your fingertips. So let's go look at some other examples as well. And uh, we'll get to you know a few other things. So we changed the UI up here a little bit as well. So now you can see that this is uh, down here. You can see how many words, characters, and sentences you have in your content, as well as when you select this, you will be able to see how many characters uh, you've selected. And then your controls are here. What we also realized is that we want to give you a super tool and in order for us to give you a super tool, it needs to have super controls. And the screen is getting you know, consistently congested. So what we started out is building out this side panel where you will start getting many other super tools in order for you to create content. So, all right, so let's, let's get going. All right, so we went through a hip joint replacement and a clinic blog that you can create probably in less than an hour uh, if you were not listening to my conversation. So second, Mocha Coffee Maker, and this is especially for you guys and affiliates, there's many affiliates in here. Uh, and uh, I wanna show you guys like how super easy this is gonna make your guys tough. And let, let's talk about a Mocha Coffee Maker. So it could be your product, let's say, or you could be writing a blog, which is an affiliate blog where you have tons of other you know, uh, products uh, in it. And I have an example. I just uh, wanted to put in an example here where we can grab content from to show you guys some custom data. Uh, and I will also show you example of Amazon where you can grab the content from and structure it and write it uh, into paragraphs of data that is really solid. Okay, so for affiliate blog, let's try creating. All right, the best coffee, uh, the cof mocha coffee maker. Make a fast and delicious espresso shot at home with the mocha pot. Now. Well, this is really good data. This is really good title that you could use right away and uh, start to building your content. And the best could be your product or it could be your choice if you are an affiliate, right? So, all right, so it's many. And yeah, sure, there's 2007. So you're gonna have to live with a little bit of GPT-3 fault over there. And you can easily change that to 21 by double clicking on it and selecting that or any other things that you want to select. You, if you don't like this, delete it, or you can also generate more meta descriptions out of it to get more ideas. But keep it minimum. Like here we have 14 to 32 sections. Let's start generating outline. 
And everywhere you see umbrella, that means it's using concepts to create anything that it's doing. Okay, all right. <laughs> Let's talk about quality here. This is not any randomly generated outline, uh, and you can try that with any other GPT-3 tools to come up with an outline. And let's see what kind of outline that, that they give you and what structure it gives you. This is going to be game changer for you guys because it is infused with SERP data and related keywords data to make them powerful and be right on. So it even pulled out a BRT and you will see that it's used in related keywords. People are searching for this uh, BRT uh, coffee stuff maker. And even though you not know nothing about BRT, BRT or however you pronounce it, you will be able to use concepts to write about it. You know, absolutely fine. Okay, how to clean and maintain, like, you know, you can start selecting the outlines that you want to add, and there's tons and tons of data. Sure, there can, there can be a little data, which is not that great, and uh, you might have to delete and make some minor adjustments, but you're, you're okay here. All right, so let's say what are the benefits uh, and say what are your options for coffee maker? Uh, I'm gonna start here because this is more complex. I, I, I know we can find easily content for this first from SERP, but uh, what are the options for coffee mocha maker? Now let's go ahead and look at SERP. What we did was we added a plus sign. So now you will have ability to add all any of this uh, products that you like into your uh, brief or any of the outlines that you like into your outline builder very easily. So I would say like, uh, I wanna add this. I wanna add uh, BRT logo. I wanna add, let's say I don't like any of these other things. So I can go next. And I can also add like similarly from other uh, ranking pages, any product that I have, I wanted to add, I can add. Pankil, a really okay. quick question there. The titles are not exact titles pulled from SERP, correct? Okay, sorry, unique titles, guys. This is not something that you're gonna have to rewrite. It's already rewritten for you at the maximum magnitude as possible. Uh, so you can start using them and you can start creating content uh, right away. There's no rewrites needed. There is no making sure needed, but sure, like, you know, it's a best practice at the end, run it through plagiarism checker, but no. What we do is, we pull out concepts from any of this uh, information that we see on uh, uh, on CERP data, and around those concepts, we build out questions. So every outline that we generate is going to be most likely a question. So you can see that it is totally rephrased. It has a different structure to it, different meaning to it, but it has all the core vitals of SERP and ranking that it needs in order for you to get that content ranking. Super important, guys. For example, to build this out outline, what we passed it would be probably benefits, mocha, coffee, maker. And then, you know, build, up, build upon that concept to create a question around it and, and suggest you something. And the way we curate this is state of our technology. We, we have spent so much time in collecting SERP data and, you know, this is how you meaningfully use it. Okay. Pankel, so let's, really quick, what if multiple people use the same keyword using outrank and are they going to get the same outline? No, here's the thing. So that's why. So sure, every time the concepts are run, they are run through an AI, right? So an AI every time is trying differently to come up with concepts. And even the concepts that we come up with are at you know maximum extent rewritten already. Okay, so every time it's rewritten differently, maintaining the meaning of it, maintaining the context of it, maintaining everything that it needs to in order to build that content out. But let's say you build up the research and someone else build up the research. There are two layers. One is where we collect concepts, where everything is rewritten. And then when we build out the context upon that and, and develop that concept to write the content, it's again rewritten and expanded and built upon, right? So there's two layers of rewriting happening over here to make sure that you guys don't land up in this problem and you have to do as little of rewriting as possible. So uh, super important guys, like we've made sure that we cover this and we understand how important it is for plagiarized content to be on the web and you know, probably not seeing any results by putting in so much effort. Okay, so let's say these are the options for Mocha Coffee Maker, and I wanted to build out this uh, outline. So let's see. These are two of my H3s that I need to go in. Okay. Okay, there we go. So let's open this out, drag this inside, drag this inside. Okay, now we have our structure outline for you know how you want to make Mocha Coffee Maker. You have no idea what this Mocha Coffee, uh, Mocha Espresso Oceana or BRT logo is totally is, right? Let's say 
I express uh, Mocha Express, I'm just removing Mocha out of it. So we don't even have an exact outline to match it to SERP in order to get this data. Okay, Express Oceana. All right. So this is now totally spun up, spun up information. And I want you to see how powerful our search engine is that we built out. It, that even will pull out information about this particular brand from SERP data without you going to manually map it. Okay, this is the, all the information that it could find. And uh, this is probably as little as it could find. So you can go and find from Amazon now. Let's say I want to do this. Oceana Coffee Maker. Oceana Coffee Maker Amazon. Okay, I'm just going to pick out a random one that we find. Uh, this uh, this is BRD. Okay, okay. So this is BRD. We'll just run it for BRD in order for you to understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say this is a product that you are uh, promoting. Well, this has no content at all okay there is a mocha express oceana that we were talking about okay and yeah it probably gave you exactly what you could find anyways from here as well but let's say you had this particular information from somewhere let's say i want to copy all of these information and it is stuck it, it's unstructured right i'm just like crap grabbing anything that i can and rewriting around it so let's say this all right, so now you have concepts that you can write about in your affiliate blog around this. These concepts, every time you pull out, are spun up differently and written differently, and you can start including them in your content any way you want. This is what uh, <laughs> this is how uh, you know powerful it is that you can start. All right, so now you can just start building upon this particular stuff. So everything it's writing like uh, enjoy expert shots at home from variety of options for brewing coffee uh, because there's no content up over here. This traditional method such as coffee, like you know, it starts building upon that particular uh, area. And let's say if you don't like this content and you want it to be more specific, like you can run it again. Ah, oh, okay, all right. So here you see the data is all about, there you go. You don't need to understand how you build out like two paragraphs of uh, nonsense that GPT-3 put out when uh, you create like eco-friendly coffee preparation method, like what is the method? Here, you have the method and you are done with it. You can move on and build out easily 500, 600 words in less than two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Okay, all right. So this is the second example that we covered. And I showed you guys like where you can copy Amazon content and create your information around it. Similarly, let's say you have a different product. You have a SaaS company or that you are writing content for, or you're writing content for email, an email engine or an API tool or a very technical topic. Anything is digestible here. Anything. Absolutely. And the reason is because there is a pre-processing layer building concepts and then infusing it with the uh, GPT-3. Okay. All right, so this was one more example that we looked at. Now let's look at a very complex example. That is text summarization. And the re reason being, it's it's super technical in nature. And it's difficult to understand how to write about it because it consists of Python and all of those programming languages and stuff like that, right? So uh, a free text summarization tool, quick and easy. Let's pick one and click next, right? I've already created some uh, meta description for it. Generate outline for it. All right. Isn't that something like it knows what word vector and bird to talk about? It knows uh, Python code to talk about. It knows Google Cloud text summarization API to talk about. If you ask GPT-3 to give you outline, I guarantee you none of these words will ever come up over there because it does not know this nuanced technologies and new technologies. Okay, this is why this is amazing stuff. Okay, all right, what is text summarization? Okay, let's go ahead and add that to, I wanted to show you guys like a example of neural network with text summarization. How does the neural network work with text summarization? So yeah, I can show you guys like, this is some really complex data. Sure, you'll probably need a little bit of knowledge to build out some of this information, but it does a majority of the job. So let's see. Abstractive text summarization is a machine learning model. Uh, now there is two types of methods, abstractive and extractive. So this is abstractive, what it's talking about. You have no idea what abstractive text summarization is. Let's generate concepts for it. All right, how much content do you want to write around this? Uh, and how much good content do you want to write around this? You can simply also in 99% of the cases, just copy this right into it and build your editors. So understand guys, like this is the next level stuff. And this is how you should be really using GPT-3 is by guiding it to what you write, uh, want to write and not asking it out of the hat to you know spin out some magic tricks and give you everything that you need uh, at your fingertips. Uh, it probably doesn't work. Okay, 
So I, this is one more example, like information uh, product pitch blog. And I wanted to show you like, let's say for example, you have a GitHub uh, or Python. Python text summarization code. And you wanted to talk about that. What you can do is let's say open up this particular page uh, that has that information around the process and everything that you need. Uh, and you can then copy it, even the technical content out of it, and you can paste it. So in most time, in most cases, it will do a phenomenal job and come up uh, coming up with a structure. But if it cannot, uh, then you might have to readjust it. But in most cases, it's going to give the steps that you need in order to create the process. Uh, this is super technical stuff. So understand like any nuanced content can be uh, converted into concepts. All right, these are the exact steps that you probably need to take in order to come up with your content and uh, work with this uh, Python uh, library. So you can understand that it removed all of the nonsense out of it and gave you a proper structure to let you build content upon it. And uh, that this is why this is so powerful. All right, okay. We also uh, now like uh, st I'll stop here about the concept and then pick up the questions from you guys. And uh, for that, I'll just show you guys a very quick functionality that we also added in questions on uh, so many people request is uh, social and you can get Quora as well as Reddit. So there's no Reddit question that we could find, which was good enough, but we've added Quora and Reddit as well. Okay, guys. So uh, this is my basic two cents about how the product works in the new release. And this is a two part release. And we are going to also release a second part end of uh, this month, which will have tons of other capabilities around this tool and a few new features altogether. This is going to be live anytime between now and Saturday, 1 p.m. And there will be an announcement that goes out. As soon as this product goes out live, uh, the pricing for add-ons will change. The pricing, there will be early adopters plan that uh, we'll also introduce, which will be monthly basis because this consumes a lot of AI characters in order to get value out of it, true value out of it. You know, we highly suggest that you buy a, an add-on. And for those of you who do not want to buy add-ons, you can still use your characters and you can still do everything that you were, that we promised that you would be able to do with the platform, just not use concept. So uh, concept consumes uh, characters and that is why we, you know, uh, you would need an additional add-on to buy more characters in case you need it. If you're just creating a couple of uh, documents here every month, then I think your credit should be fine. But if you are really doing some agency work and uh, trying to write content at scale and really come up with really good content uh, super fast, then we, I would highly suggest that you uh, buy the add-on as soon as you can. As soon as the product goes live, we cannot make changes to the uh, add-on because that's part of our core release and uh, how we are going further with the product and the company and uh, how we're trying to build out uh, actually SEO content super tool. Cool. Dewey was really impressed. Dewey has been with us, I don't know, from the very beginning. So exciting that you are impressed. We have Dietrich asking, will add-ons have rollovers if characters are not used? No, for this add-ons, guys, uh, this is a huge discount. Uh, Two million characters for thirty-nine dollars. There is going to be no roll uh, roll on. This is most likely going to be three to four more, three to four times more expensive because the quality it's super different. Okay, it's there's no point in spending uh, a few bucks less and going after something which takes ten times more to edit than uh, to just go here and do what you need to do. So understand the value, guys. There's don't run after a few bucks here and there. Thirty-nine is the best that it will be ever available on here until the launch. So much data that we are processing, but we are only charging you for output. That is why it needs to be a lot higher than where it is right now. Pankil Sherman is asking, is that the, the upgrade plan, add-on plan that we see in the settings? The yes. 39? Okay. Do I need a, pay, a paid plan to have an add-on? Uh, yes, 100%. Otherwise, you'll only be able to create two documents forever, right? Like you wouldn't want to do that. So yes, you would need to buy a regular subscription. And if your regular subscription is consuming a lot of characters and you still need more, then you need to buy more. Albert is saying that freeze is seventeen fifty, and outrank and add-on is thirty-nine. What the heck? <laughs> Albert, you know, happy that you are asking 1750 a phrase. You know, I can say that there are $25 of LTDs available on many of the LTD platforms uh, that do just about that AI writing that anyone else is uh, anyone else will, would do. So sure, it can be 17, but 17 is also only for LTD users, it's not for regular users. So those people who were scammers or got scammed, I don't know, however you put it, they are the ones who are getting benefit out of it, not everybody else. Plus 39 is what I am saying is 39 right now is very cheap for the quality that you are getting out of here. And I would urge you guys 
to go and try the quality with any tool out there compared and make a video out of it we would love it uh, love it because i know that we will crush it and uh, this has been tested over and over again throughout our staging period and uh, people have been testing we've been working with uh, some of these tools already so uh, there's not 5 10 15 20% improvement in the quality there is 1000% improvement in the quality and if you don't see that and if you don't see the value then i would urge that 1750 it should be for you guys Sure is asking, I use phrase at the moment. How does it differ from phrase? Super different. Phrase is writing content based on AI and the data it has already ingested so far up till right now. It does not understand your thought process. It does not understand where you want to take your thoughts to when you are building out your paragraphs. It does not have SERP data, which is the most current, the most current directory of content that Google holds. It does not have it. But what we do is we have that. Our content quality is 10 times better. It's uh, more about SERP data and ranking than creating content out of thin air like any other tool. And the way we go about approaching and writing this content is helping you do the research as well and execute upon your content and not think about, hey, I, this is the line that I want to write. Then I am going to write a few words here and then let, let the AI write for me. Oh, wait, no, it did not write what I wanted to. So let's go back, delete it, uh, do again. This is what every tool does. This is not what this is for. This is for building out specific content paragraphs uh, upon context, is, uh, context which are super relevant to SERP data. Reed is asking, if you have a team plan, do you need to get the add-on for each person or, or is it for the entire account? So this, this add-on is distributed among your team. So you should be able to distribute uh, those credits as you want. But with the new releases, that we uh, that will be scrubbed away as well because uh, it can be easily taken advantage of. And uh, you understand like the optimization never ends, right? So you could literally process uh, millions of characters uh, if you wanted to with one document. So there has to be some sort of limit, but uh, you will see this uh, in uh, coming up. Do we need to buy the add-on to be able to use this feature? No, you can use it based on the credits that you already have uh, with your LTD account. You should be able to use it up to that limit. After that, you will need the add-on if you want to keep using this feature because this consumes AI credits and it consumes a lot of AI credits because the quality, the thought, and the concepts around it are just phenomenal. Vikram is asking, will we, are, are we going to be grandfathered on the prize raises? So you, your price will never change. And uh, yeah, like, I, I don't want to say this, but like, yes, your, your plan, your price will not change at 39. This is going to be truly the only best price that was ever available for character add-on at outranking ever will be. The direction that we are taking the product in, we are focusing more on quality than just the regular consumption. And for that, we need to increase the price in order to stay in the game and give you guys really good quality data. So we're gonna increase the price of add-on with this new release itself. And uh, yes, uh, this price will never come back. Jeremy is making a summary. The, this version five best features is this tool can help us create outline and generate concepts to generate better information, which will be really relevant with SERP data because the data gene. Yes. Yeah. In a very short summary, yes. But I think there's more to come, I think. What Marco is asking, hey, uh, nice to see you, man. What you're asking is no. So the reason why we are increasing the, the price for the add-on is because to generate the same type of content that you would generate in any other tool or our tool or any other tool in our tool, the difference is we are consuming four to five times more characters than producing in order to find relevant topics that you can uh, write about from SERP data. That is lots of text processing. And even processing text takes money, consumes uh, you know, your credits for GPT-3 or any other APIs that you are using. So it adds upon the cost. And that is why the reason is that like so LTD, so many cheap LTDs out there is because you can generate content out of thin air and uh, you know be this cheap. But in order for you to really get value out of it, there are some magic magic tricks that you need to run around it. You need to really focus on building an engine that can be used to feed relevant information, which is 2021 or uh, I would say 20, uh, you know, 2050 from now, and and not worry that you know it's uh, three or four years behind. Or when you write about coronavirus and you don't know what is coronavirus. GPT-3 will tell you that it's a fungus that you need to treat, but it's not, right? Like 2021, coronavirus is Delta virus, and it needs to talk about new things, nuanced approaches, things that are not there with GPT-3 or any other GPT-3 tool, which we have, is SERP data. And we have this information to the core embedded in our platform, which is why this is, I would say like, you know, 
best long form content editor that's out there. How are the credits being counted? They are only counted right now based on output. Uh, and because they are counted on output, we need to change the price and up it a bit to adjust the consume uh, the, the consumption and characters that we're doing in the back end. So we need to change the prices, but we can change the price only with the new release, uh, which is uh, which is going to be part of that core release. So until then, we can't do anything, uh, and it's our duty to let you guys know that we are going to change the price because of this reason, and that is why I'm bringing it out here. So if, if it was uh, if it was me, we're losing money here in long run doing the $39 deal, but I also know that we have plenty of other plans that are coming up in the next couple of months. And we wanted you to guys uh, to stay ahead uh, of everything that we ever did. So, you know, I, we wanted you to be the first one to take the opportunity and get this if you needed it. If not, you can still use all your functionalities and this feature as well. Jeffrey from Thailand, which is probably pretty late out there, is asking, is it possible to buy more than one upgrade? So that they have yes. not two million yes. credits, but four million credits. Yes, it's possible. Uh, you can buy multiple subscriptions of uh, your add-ons. And uh, I've seen many of you guys have already done that. And uh, they're consuming lots of characters without even us putting out uh, this feature out there. But yeah, after that, it's going to be super useful to have an add-on that can really do some uh, stuff. People will be able to cancel later if needed, the add-on. Uh, yeah, you can cancel it anytime, but it the price will uh, then change, right? Like, so if you cancel, it's like you're canceling the subscription. So now we no longer will have that subscription available in our, you know, in, in, in our cart for you to pick from. So you'd have to pick the new add-on, which is available at that time. When is the price okay. increase expected? Uh, the, so like we were actually going to launch a V5 today, but we are running a, a day behind getting some approvals from OpenAI. So we're expecting to release tomorrow or maybe early Saturday. And I will send out 24 hour notification earlier. But if we get approval today, you know, we are ready to roll with the new release. Everything is set and ready to go. I mean, right now. So we're just uh, waiting out on that approval. As soon as we get the approval, we're ready to go and launch it. It can happen anywhere from right now up to 48 hours. A few people are asking, can I upgrade my LTD account now? I want it. <laughs> if they have the limit for how many um, documents they have, with the smaller plan and they want to upgrade it to a bigger plan so we cannot do upgrades for ltd there guys sorry it's just not possible which languages are supported we are we are um trying our 100 percent to make it available uh, in all languages with this coming release if anything, some languages might be delayed by a day or two, but that's about it. We're expecting that most languages should be live with this new release, and the ones that are not will be live in the next day or so. So there's not going to be much delay or new release that you have to wait for, for it to be supported in the, on the languages that we support currently. Help people understand, when is the last date when the price is going to be available at this price, and when is it going to be go up, and then are people going to get notification in email? Yes. So I will send out the notification 24 hours before we are doing the release that the price is going up. The price is close to being twice or more based on the data that we are processing. It's going to bring tremendous value, guys. So it's going to be twice or more. And we will probably not disclose the price at that point. But with the new release, you will start seeing that new price. And uh, yeah, so it, the price can increase anywhere from right now. Well, at least uh, from, from 24 hours to 48 hours. So... On the growth plan, it says unlimited AI writing. What does that mean? So you can create 100 documents. Uh, there is a soft limit, but uh, you will never exceed that limit. Because if you even if you create 100 documents to the full length of 10,000 words, it will not be consumed. So unlimited means you are being charged based on documents, right? So the only cap is uh, documents, but you can have unlimited characters within those. You can already see your credit usage in your uh, settings tab. We have already added all three features. You can see your credit for characters, documents, as well as your members. Explain the pricing for the add-on for both lifetime deal users and not lifetime deal users. So not lifetime deal users, they most likely won't need to add AI character limits unless every post that they write is like a, a 10,000 word post. But add-ons is for people who like really have lesser character limit, but they, but they need to create content at scale. They need to write more. They want to create four, five, six, seven, ten blogs a month. In that case, I would be for you. But if you are not on an LTD plan, you are most likely not going to consume all the credits that we've given you. Zach is asking, so the credits are going to be shared with the team members. 
Yes, for LTD users, for this plan only, it will not be shared once uh, Concepts is launched. Marcel is asking, is there a chance you can give us a slightly longer window to add the add-on at the current rate? No, guys. As soon as we launch this product, it's going to start consuming more and more characters. This is a huge liability. If we don't increase the, uh, the price at that point in time, we are actually losing money after you know partner discounts and stuff like that 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 you have to put into picture we actually start losing money and uh, so right now we're just like playing a game over here and saying that you know because we cannot do this until the launch we, we have this window open or we would have announced it long time back that this is the direction that we want to go in the quality of content and uh, everything that you're going to see is uh, quite amazing and and for that reason we cannot make that exception and we have to change the price of the uh, this thing goes live what is the future plans of Outranking after this launch? We have also updated our roadmap. You guys can check a little bit there, but uh, let me give you a quick view. And I am like, once I say this, there's going to be rates towards getting there first, and which is okay. We'll get there for, uh, we'll get there faster. But the ultimate goal is to give you uh, a first draft that is at least eighty to eighty-five percent there. We have Dewey feeling really brave and i'm adding you to the stage dewey i have the ltd pro plan i don't write lots of articles for my website and you're saying that this is going to consume a lot more of our credits than before so i'm trying to figure out uh, how much i would be writing where i get to the point that i should get the add-on so let me explain how the consumption of credit works right now it's only based on output so let's say you generate a summary you generate an answer, you generate concepts, uh, you generate an outline, you generate, uh, you generate uh, what you call titles, meta description. They all consume characters, right? So for example, let's say you write about 2,000 words uh, in one topic. So you're writing about 8,000. Let's say you round it off. You say you write 10,000 words. But in order to write 10,000 words with concepts, you're going to have to generate concepts, right? And execute and uh, automate execution of that, right? So now it's like, cutting you time in your entire research process and building out the information that you need to create and all of it and just skipping that entire part and getting you to the part where you just now execute writing the content. So for, for, for that time, right, like how much more characters can you consume? So let's say you consume at least uh, three to four times uh, or maybe twice or thrice, I would say more than that, right? Like at the max, you're writing 10,000 words, you're consuming about 30,000 words uh, to write that quality data, 30,000 words, times that 30,000 uh, words uh, times that by five is approximately 150,000 characters. So you can understand the limit that you have. Now, whether there's value or not, so let's break down the numbers, right? If it you are writing your content in 20 hours and we get you there in four hours or 16 hours that we saved you with any, even like, uh, I would say like, you know, a, a wage, like starting from 10 to uh, 60 for any individual, let's count the minimum wage that anyone would write this content at. If we are saving you $10 at minimum wage, or let's say $5 a minimum wage for the 15 hours, or let's say 10 hours that you are going to save, how much money did you save? Right? The amount of uh, time value and uh, energy you will save around this, it's, it's going to be tremendous that, you know, it, looking at 39 in front of it, the value that you get is approximately 10x of it for really quality content that ranks. I get the value. And the old question in my mind is I'm trying to calculate how many credits I'm using. Like if I've got 50,000 credits, how you know using all these features, and I'll probably use all of them, how much am I consuming per article? Let's say now one article would be 20,000 credits. Well, if I do three or four a month, I'll need more than 50,000. So it makes sense. Totally does. So Dewey, that's, that's what I just suggested is that if you create a 2000 or 2500 word article, and let's say you create four of those, you are essentially writing uh, 10,000 uh, words. But in order to write 10,000 words, you are likely going to consume twice or thrice as much of character limits. Because you have, you're generating concepts and you're processing so much data to create this content, you're likely going to consume, let's say 20 or 30,000 characters because you can generate this valuable concepts, generate outlines and stuff that speeds up your work process. Let's say maximum you consume 30,000 words in, in the product and to consume 30,000 words times that by five is how many characters you use. So 150,000 characters is what you'd be looking at. So I think if you are writing approximately four topics, your character consumption limit can be anywhere from 80 to 150, depending on how long you write, how much you write, how much research you need, and how much nuanced topic it is and how much uh, deeper you need to dig. You're welcome. Um, Leaf is asking, will there be a training video on the new feature available soon? 
Uh, yes, there will be uh, some training videos and there will be, there will also be documentation on it. Also, we in this release have pulled tooltips everywhere. So anywhere you have questions on how to use a feature, you should be able to use the tooltips to get guidance on how to use it or find videos around them of using it. So it should be in this release as well to make you guys understand everything that we have on platform. Super easy. Mohammed is asking, can we expect bigger concepts like more than 150 words per paragraph? <laughs> Uh, this is an awesome question, Mohammed. Everything is going to be processed to GPT-3, but the techniques at which it's going to be processed is a little different. So if you, let's say you have up to 2000 characters or so, you can easily process everything through GPT. That's like 500 words, right? Like that's like four times or three times more than what you just suggested. That should be all processed very easily, no problem. But when there is really longer content and we have some caps on how we want to use GPT-3 to analyze your data and give you concepts, we have structural summarization with using BART that extracts the key elements, bigger phrases, and then we use it to pass it to GPT-3 to collect SERP, SERP concepts out of it. So it's still exactly from SERP and it is exactly what you need, but in a different way. And so we, we manage that. You don't need to, there's no limit on what you can do. The way this will be processed from our backend, it will be significantly different to have you guys, you know, not fall in trap of this user's game and, you know, be, be, be able to do whatever you need to do properly. Kim is asking, can we introduce a smaller tier plan? So not possible guys for this price. It's just not possible. What we are going to do is that we will probably have three tiers, but at a much higher price. And our first tier would probably start with 29 with the new, with the new release. And that 29 will probably have one fourth of the credits that are available right now. So we're thinking at $29, probably 500,000 in credit, 500,000 in credit. So you can create really quality blog post outlined everything that you need uh, without having to think much at super fast speed. So the value, uh, it's going to be tremendously high. Zach apparently knows what's happening. And he's saying that the cost of the credits is actually three times more than what we're selling it for. So he is saying, and, and we're not paying Zach to say that, buy the add-on. <laughs> right, like, okay, right on. So you understand, right? Like if 100% of the people that buy the add-on uh, would consume all the credits, we make zero money, but that's if we had no partners. We have partners. So now we make 25% less money if 100% of the people were consuming those credits. So this is really, really, really heavily discounted for the- Thank you. Simple statement. Approximately how many credits are being consumed to create roughly 2000 word article? Simple statement. So, okay, simple statement. I would say 2000 words would probably consume 2000 to 5000 words altogether, uh, altogether to process it and stuff like that. Jeffrey raised his hand. I am going to hand you the mic. All right. Both myself and my outsource worker use the tool. And I had the add on now, and I got your lifetime deal. And I have your $39, and I'm thinking I probably should go ahead and buy a second upgrade. But if I've heard you correctly, the credits don't cross over multiple users. No, they do. If you have an LTD, they do. Yeah. You, they you can do. distribute. Yes, you can distribute among your teams however you want. Very so good. there's a distribution. And uh, there's a setting where you can distribute them. Uh, you can say that, you know, a person A is only creating 10 documents, so I want to give him or her 10,000 credits or 10,000 characters. So you can define that and you can right, adjust. And I, and I use it. I thought that was, I, yeah, I, I must have misunderstood because I thought that was going away on the, on the, next, on the next deal. Ranga is asking, have you tested the results with the plagiar, plagiarism checker? I do feel the concept will be unique, but just asking. Hey, you know what? I'm the pro user of uh, Grammarly. So we tested out with different models and different creativity levels and uh, different ways uh, we can produce text and I'll give it precise information. Right? There is a very, very, very high probability the text will be super unique. Your last step is to run it through a plagiarism checker and make sure that you know it abides by that. My test results and every test that we have done between the 12 to 15 people uh, who've been testing this product, we've tested it on Glamourly to check if the plagiarism exists. And we did find traces of it, one or 2% uh, of the content, which is not really a lot. But it again, depends on your use case and make sure that you run plagiarism checker. But most cases, 99.9% .9 of the time, you are going to get super unplagiarized content.
Are there any plans for image integration? Yes, there is a few things on the roadmap where we'll allow you to integrate it with your with your image libraries and stuff like that to put it in. How about the tone of voice? Funny, friendly, informative? So uh, this is no white stone. We're not guiding it to be creative, witty, or, 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 or you know, be a Stella or someone else. It's not like that. So this is more sort of an informative uh, and action-oriented content. So if you have a certain tone that you want to it, feel free to go and adjust it. Uh, so we, we have something planned called templates in the future, which will allow you to do some of these things creatively and uh, save those settings off and uh, come back to it every day, just like that, but not yet. Uh, we don't have it. I, I, like, let's say if you want to be witty and creative and stuff like that, you can use instruct command that we have in our AI write feature. So you can say write witty and we write the following headline or something like that, instruct it, and you should be able to do that right now. But there is an additional step. It is automated, but you're going to have to give it a command. Awesome. Zach is asking, is doing a great help to everyone. And he is calculating here. I just wanted to make sure upon kill double check if the calculations are correct saying that each 1500 word article on average is 10,000 characters. Sure, you can you can roll with that, for example. You can see it on the screen as well, if you can. Yes. So that means that 50,000 characters equals to five articles. So 2 million characters equals to 200 articles approximately. Right, Zachary, yes, absolutely right. But understand this, right? Like it also depends on person to person. So what, what will happen is that some people will just generate more concepts so they can have a better research idea before writing the content, right? Or someone might, might just uh, have this uh, you know, underlying, underlying urge to create a thousand titles before picking one or a hundred description before picking one, right? It's all possible. So, you know, count for that as well. But yes, mindful, you should be comfortably be able to create, you know, four to five articles with 50,000 characters. Alex is asking, so to confirm, this call was to show a new feature that everyone has access to. If you have a team lifetime deal, you have access to this feature and that is capped at 50,000 characters per month. But the new concepts, concepts will use three times the amount. Right. The concepts will use three times the amount. You don't have to use the concepts. If you don't want to, you can still do everything without concepts that you were able to do before. So it's absolutely no problem over there. In order for us to build concepts out, it consumes lots of credit. And that means it costs us a lot of money to give you guys this really super data from the super tool. And for that, there is an add-on. Bob was saying, I have the starter LTD plan. I noticed on the website, there is an unlimited AI for 99 bucks. Yes, it's unlimited AI, but understand you have document caps over there, right? So you're going to be capped at documents. So you can only create that many documents every month for $99. And there is a user cap as well. It's only for one user. Awesome. So we've been at this 90 minutes. Anyone else has any other questions? So Sarang is saying, can we share cut on credits with the sub accounts for the lifetime yes. deal buyers? The answer is yes, 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 yes you can. Yes. Yes, you can. Awesome. Looks like that's about it. All right, so I'll, I'll jump really quickly on my camera back here and going at it for like non nonstop 90 minutes now. So I'll go get a, a bottle of water and I'll see you guys in the group. And next week, there's again two webinars. One more thing. This is a two-part release, okay? So this is half the excitement. The half is coming at the end of this month. And again, going to have some really cool features out there. So watch out for that. And uh, thank you all for really uh, coming here. And this was a really great session. <laughs> thank you. You're nuts, Zach is saying. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. He hasn't slept for like two weeks. Uh, you, guys, you guys can see my like eyes trying to pop out, you know. I'm really trying to make this happen for you guys uh, and uh, launch it. I'm... I'm more excited than you guys uh, are, are probably right now at this point. Like, uh, I, I really want you to get this in your hands. All right, we'll, we'll see when the IPO really is. It's, it's how much you guys help us promote the product and tell the world uh, that this is the next level of uh, what you call it, long form editor or tool or any other tool crusher or whatever you want to call it. You guys can be creative as you want. Help us get there, right? Like the more audiences that we get, the better you can launch your LTDs and your account right now because they are going to be gem guys. Uh, you will get so much value out of it after a year. So, you know, just don't start running scams. <laughs> I have one request. If you guys have a way to explain how, you know, Punky was calling these concepts, obviously different people explain this differently. I would love to hear in your own words, how would you explain 
what our ranking is right now, the new version. So if you have something to share, share it in the Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook group, I'm going to drop the link here just in case you are not and feel free to we welcome you there and uh, look forward to continue the conversation there. There's actually two weekly webinars, right? One is for platform and the other one is where we uh, walk you guys through the insane new features and new stuff uh, and uh, some powerful tutorials. So what we have built out now is that we're going to cover building out like, you know, one product, a uh, blog, like every week now that we have so many tools that you can like really just cruise through it. And it will be super fun to show you guys for the next few weeks. But yes, we're still running those weekly webinars. Do you accept affiliate access to this tool? Yes, you can apply. If you go to the website, scroll down, there's a way to apply as an affiliate. Thank you all. Thank you so much. And at this, we're going to stop it here and we are going to be excited to see you in, in the group. If you have anything to share, feel free to share it privately to Pankil at Outranking or Natalie at Outranking or publicly in the group and look forward to chatting with you really soon. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much, guys. This was uh, wonderful. Have a wonderful day and I can't wait to get you this guy, this bad boy in your hand. All right. <laughs> Sounds good, guys. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.